In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a particle logo reveal animation inside of After Effects using a Trapco particular plugin. Let's create a new composition. This is going to be logo. Drag your logo to the timeline. Now let's create another composition and name it Emitter. And drag your logo comp we've just created into here. Then make sure it is selected. Select the rectangle tool to create a simple mask like this. Then press F key to bring a mask feather and set it to 70. Then press M to bring a mask path. Switch back to the selection tool. Create a keyframe for mask path at the beginning. Go to 8 seconds and drag on any other corner points and drag the mask across all the way. Then let's create another composition and name it main. Then drag emitter and logo comps to the timeline. And make emitter 3D. Click on toggle switch modes if you don't see this column. And make it 3D by checking this box. And also go ahead and hide it. Then right click new solid. We're going to name those one particles. Then go to effects and presets and search for particular. Add this to the solid layer. First, let's open up emitter settings. Set particles per second to 500,000. Emitter type to layer. Then go to layer emitter. And for the layer, select the emitter. And also source, set it to effects and masks. Have these settings up. Then go to emitter size and set it to 50. And also velocity, set it to 50. Now let's go to the next section of the particle settings. Open that up. Set life to 1.5. Feather to 0. Then size to 6. Set size random to 100. Open at the size over life drop down. Select the presets and choose the second preset. Now let's go to opacity over life and select the last preset. Let's close the particle settings for now and go to the shading. Set shadow light for main to on. Let's head over to the physics settings. Open the drop down. Go to air. Set the wind x to 100 and wind y to minus 50. And let's open up turbulence field and set the effect position to 200. And now we should start seeing the particles emitting from the logo, but we need to make the logo reveal itself as well. So for that, let's search for a linear wipe effect, add this to the logo comp, set feather to 70, wipe angle to minus 90, and transition completion to 100, and create a keyframe for it at the beginning, then go to 8 seconds, and set transition completion to 0. And now we are getting the particle reveal of our logo. Let's go ahead and add more effects to the layer, search for sharpen, and add this to the particles layer. Set amount to 100 to make the particles nice and sharp. Then let's search for glow and add the glow to the particles layer. Set glow radius to 20 and you can leave the settings as they are. Then let's also add glow to the emitter itself. Set glow threshold to 100 and intensity to 2. Then search for drop shadow and add this to the particles layer. Set opacity to 75%, distance to 0 and softness to 100. You can see what we've done to the particles. Now let's create a background by right click new solid. I'm going to name this one BG and drop it below other layers. Then go to effects and presets and search for gradient ramp. Add this to the BG layer. I'm going to click on swap colors. And for the start color, I'm choosing a really dark blue. Then I'm going to set ramp scatter to 100 and ramp shape to radial. The particles are slowly coming together. Let's select the particles layer. Go to edit, duplicate. I'm going to rename it to dust. Go to the particular settings. Open up emitter. And for the particles per second, I'm going to set it to 10,000. And also velocity to 200. Then scroll to the physics settings. Open the drop down. And set effect position for the turbulence field to 500. And now we'll have a sort of dust particles flying on the outer edge of our logo. Which I think looks really cool. You can preview the particles and once you like the way they look. You can unlock the layer emitter, select all the layers except the background, right click, select pre-compose. I'm going to name this on final. Now let's create a new adjustment layer by right click new adjustment layer and rename it to effects. Now let's search for camera lens plane effects and presets and add those to the adjustment layer. Also search for transform and also add it to the adjustment layer. Then make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline and create a keyframe for blur radius. Also make sure to check repeat edge pixels. Create a keyframe for scale and also for the opacity. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Set blur radius to 20, opacity to 50, also scale to 150. Then go one second forward, set blur radius to zero and opacity to 100. Then move to eight seconds all the way to the end of our animation and set scale to 100. Then select all the keyframes and press F9 to easily use them. That'll give us a smooth fade in at the beginning, but we can improve the velocity by selecting the camera lens blur keyframes. Going up to the graph editor, make sure you can edit speed graph though. Drag the keyframe handle all the way to the left. And then let's exit the graph editor and preview the final result. As you can see, just like this, we've been able to create an awesome particle logo reveal animation inside of After Effects using a Trapco particular plugin. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learned something new, please give this video a like. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.